Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shawana Burns. Please click that like button and that subscribe button. Today, we are going to be talking about the SBA IDLE program. I'll take you over some few numbers um, with the PPP, what's left over with that, and also what's left, left over with the IDLE program. So there's been a few things going on, um, reported in the news. Uh, Jovita Carranza is under fire because they have been reports that a lot of people that receive advances does not actually have a business, okay? They're not a 1099, they're not a gig worker, they're not a LLC or S corporation. And it's been flagged that uh, I guess it's a lot of people from the Windy City, Chicago, um, that have applied for these advances and received them. Okay, so... I'm urging everyone, be truthful in your application. If you know you're not a small business owner or a self-employed worker, you should not be applying for this grant. The government will catch up with you, okay? Even though SBA is in shambles right now, they this is the federal government we're talking about. They will get their money regardless, okay? And actually, it's the federal government, so this is a federal crime to defraud the federal government. Okay, so... On to the better news. Okay, so remember I told you I submitted my reconsideration application on June the 10th. And between now and then, I contacted the Washington office numerous of times. I've also contacted my senator and my congressman, my district, my congressman or that's in my district. He called me and I had to fill out a release form saying I give them permission to find out about my loan. And I explained to them my scenario, put my application number in there, my social security number. I gave them to act like they're representing me. So in which they are, they are, they do represent my district. And today I received an email from the SBA office. So I'm going to put that on the screen. Okay, this is from a representative from the SBA. It has an SBA email address. It says, application, blah, blah, blah. We have reviewed your request for reconsideration of the above reference disaster loan application. At this time, we are unable to complete the evaluation of your request until the following information is provided. The attached SBA 22 schedule of liabilities for the business the attached SBA 4506T, the previous one we received was wrong, the wrong version. Okay, so um, I need to update that, I'm assuming. We requested the attached SBA COVID EIDL, EIDL form 3502. Please note gross revenues refers to the income and the cost of goods. So it's not expenses, but it's the total wholesale cost of items you receive Items you resell at retail price. Please refer refer to your tax return. If you do not sell the merchandise, then your cost of goods sold is zero. So that, that doesn't have anything to do with me because my cost of goods sold is never zero. And then alternative options. If you are have taken uh, measures to improve your credit report, you may request that we obtain the new report. This action will show as a hard inquiry on your report. The requested information can be attached to this email and returned in your reply okay so yeah they contacted me um and so they have a business schedule of a liability i don't know why they have you feel like this is a pdf file apparently they they can't find my file and then the 4506 there see i filled out two applications the original application they said it was the wrong version so we'll go see what that looks like. Um, and if it was the wrong version, it was their version, I think. So I downloaded it from them. But anyway, so that's good news. So I encourage you guys, if you have not received anything from the SBA, contact your local congressman. Okay? Email them. If they don't reply to your email, call them. I Actually, I called them two to three times. I called my senator. I called her. a The SBA U.S. Business Office. Okay, the U. the SBA business office, they handle all the like the oversight type of thing. I called them and I called the senator. No, you need to send a senator to this email address. 
So I contact the senator, I contact the congressman, I contact the local SBA, I contact the national SBA, I contacted everybody and finally um, I get a reply from SBA.gov, okay? So those are the things that I did, you guys. If you, I mean, if you want your business to survive, you, you're going to have to keep on trying. You know, it, it's sad that you have to do that, you know, be like a, like a pest almost and stalk people. But these are, this is your livelihood, you guys. So I, I really wanted to get online to uh, share that information with you. Okay. So let's look at, so let's look at the numbers, um, what's left over in the PPP first. And we'll see if we, last report was updated July the 17th, okay? Um, I applied for PPP for my other business through Bluevine and I got denied. They said they couldn't um, verify the information. I need to do it again. I mean, but I got a loan approved through the IDO program for my other business. So I don't know if I'm just gonna wait till I get the loan. So I'm not gonna even worry about it. Um, as far as the PPP, there is $131 billion left over. California is, is about, these numbers haven't changed since my last report, is about $67 billion, about 590,000 loans. Michigan is about $15.8 billion, 122,000 businesses receive those loans. Florida, $31 billion, 400,000 people receive those loans. You think Florida will be going up a little bit more? Uh, Texas more likely. I don't know. Um, are they rolling back? I have Texas and Florida shut down. I think they're making masks mandatory. I don't know if they necessarily shut down. I think they shut down the bars. Um, my last video when I talked about the PPP, I didn't know if they were going to let business reapply to re-up on their funding on the PPP. If you're in one of those states, type it in the comment section. Let people know that yes, they are granting businesses to re-up on their PPP. So Texas um, has received about $41 billion, 395,000 businesses received those loans. Ohio, I don't, I don't think I ever do Ohio, but <laughs> $18 billion, Ohio. Arizona is $8.5 billion, 82,000 businesses received those loans. New York is uh, $38 billion, 329,000 businesses received those loans. So it's about the same healthcare, professional, technical services, construction and manufacturing. They receive the bulk of the money, those type of industries. They're all about $65 billion a piece. They still have this unclassified establishment. You know, I guess that's never going to go away. Uh, retail trade, $40 billion. Agriculture, $8 billion. Educational services, $11 billion. Wholesale trade, $27 billion, okay? So yeah, you still have time. There's $131 billion left over and they extended the PPP until August the 7th, I believe. Um, so if you are in need of money, I encourage you to apply for this forgivable loan, okay? Advance report on July the 15th. Now, I wonder if they recuperate the monies that, and I wonder if they will ever reveal how much monies did the SBA lose to fraudulent activities. On one report, this company was like in Massachusetts somewhere, and they said they had um, a repair shop, something like that, and they had hundreds of employees. Someone received a loan for $500,000, and coming to find out, they was not a legitimate business. It's crazy. Now, in businesses, legitimate businesses like you and I, we can't even see, receive our grant alone. $500,000. That was ridiculous. I read that in the Washington Post. I'll link that in the comment section. Okay, so yeah, look, right now they said 5.7 million advances were dispersed. $20 billion. It's all gone. That's what this report says. So I've, I've been seeing other videos. Yeah, there's grants. They're still giving out grants and stuff like that. So maybe they're just reporting and just holding the money for the people that fix their, their stuff. Okay. So they're saying 
the total of twenty billion dollars, and they it's no like twenty billion, you know, or nineteen billion something something something. No, they got exactly twenty billion dollars in this report. To me, it's so weird. But anyway, watch my one video. I'll link it in the comment card. Um, especially if you're wondering about your credit, I go over the things that they're looking for for your credit. You know, so before you apply, maybe you could, you could get those things cleared up. Okay. So as of now, they have approved $150 billion of loans, 2.6 million loan applicants. That's $210 billion left, people. Yeah, to me, like I said, they're moving like turtle, turtle pace. Okay. So there's still time out there. If your business is out there suffering, um, you need some money, I encourage you to apply for this loan. I will link the application process in the description section. It's titled $1,000 in three days because I was trying to get people to apply for the grant, but it's the same process minus that checkbox for the advance, okay? Uh, it looks like California have received about $27 billion of um, 400,000 loan applicants. You know, it's just, you know, these numbers are really discouraging. So there you have it, folks. Still a lot of money left in the PPP. The advance, we already know those were exhausted anyway. It's uh, tons of money left over in the IDLE program. So I encourage you to apply. Apply, apply, apply. Okay? If you have a small business, the funding they allocated those dollars for your small business. Apply. One of the things I've been getting questions on. Oh, do I have to have a business banking account? Yeah, if you have a business name and a business EIN. Yeah, you need a business checking account. Okay. Uh, do I have to? Now, however, I know people received those grants that did not have a business account. They just, and maybe that's where they caught. It was catching it at the tail end. So, or, you know, like I said, SBA, they, SBA, they, you know, one day they go and buy one rule, the next day they fly the seat of the handle, if that's the saying. But yeah, the next day they're doing something else. So I, I don't know. There's no really rhyme to reason with the SBA, but you should have a business checking account. I had another question. Oh, if I don't have a business, what should I put? Nothing. You shouldn't be applying. <laughs> Unless you're a self-employed, I think they have a section where you could check off self-employed person. And that will be a 1099, okay? So you're self-employed. But if you don't have a business, you shouldn't be alive. <laughs> so, um, other questions I received. Um, I applied yesterday. Should I call them? No. <laughs> you applied yesterday. You know, crazy stuff like that. So just be patient. I mean, typically the loan takes about 21 days to do. If you haven't heard anything in three weeks, you need to be calling them and checking on your application status, particularly for the loan. If you apply be prior to July the 11th and receive the loan approval and have not received the grant, you need to be calling about that and say, hey, what's up? I, I didn't receive the grant, but you, you're giving me the loan. So you need to say, hey, I'm supposed to be getting this loan, okay, or this advance. So those are the things that you could do. I am sending all my good to you. I will talk to you soon.